What's good, YouTube? See Wade here. Uh, this is the second realistic mission for hackthesite.org, and it's the Nazi thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's just about from Destroy Fascism, Chicago American Nazi Party. So basically, they disagree with uh, this fascist website, and they want us to take it down. So what we're gonna start off by doing is check in for even though this doesn't work um, for this it's always good if you're in a real situation to check the common directories and paths for an admin panel so we'll just check this super quick and the common ones don't work so what we're going to do next is view page source see if we can get anything from the source and in html um, a link is used with the a h r e f tag so we'll press control f and we'll get this thing and, we c and with control f we can find anything that's in our text so we'll just type in a h r e f and it will start highlighting um, the tag and then as you can see it goes to equals um, and then in between the quotation marks we have our links and it's also used for the image source tag but we'll just keep pressing next until we get something that might help us and we have um, a link that's not mentioned on the page called update.php so we'll go type that in up top and we'll, we'll hit enter and we're gonna get into the login panel enter your username and password white brother okay um, that's better <laughs> okay um what we're gonna do from here is we can submit the query and see if it's just blank login but it's not um, we can check the page source to see if we can get anything and the form actions update to dot php with a method of post so what we post in from our input type text and or text um, the username field and the text password field we're gonna it's gonna post it and then the PHP script is gonna read it to verify if the username and password is wrong so I'll type in update to that PHP up top and it'll either let us in or it'll say invalid username or password so what we're gonna do from here the only thing left we can do is probably try a brute force attack or um, an SQL injection and commonly websites use MySQL or SQLI to store data database username and passwords and so probably in realistic too we need to do um, well that's what we need to do uh, an SQL injection and um, SQL stands for the structured query language and it's um, based on queries that the server reads and um, a common query is the select query so we're gonna go for the username we're gonna go apostrophe or one equals one dash dash and we're gonna do the same thing for the password field and that's gonna select um, the field for username and password I could show you guys um, how SQL works I'll show you guys super quick I've got time on my hands. Just logging into my admin panel from my website, but 
just a few more seconds and we'll be there I don't want to give away too much information or anything so that's why this may be censored out right now I just gotta give you guys a good example okay um, here's an example of a database that I'm not using right now but here's my SQL or here's the database at least and we have two tables SA that's just a prefix category and SA page and we have actions well this is just my admin panel but we c it shows the database right here and this is how SQL is stored in size and overhead and it goes more in depth we can run queries all that junk but um, it sh basically it just operates by structure data it's SQL structured query language and it selects it so basically what it's doing here is it's selecting or it's taking what you use what you type in for the username and it's taking what you use for your password and it's selecting what is in the database and in flawed databases or in flawed coding you can get past the database with um, common errors and an apostrophe or this query statement will trigger that error if the database is not set up right or if your PHP file is not set up right or coded right so we'll submit our query and mission 2 is accomplished and so that is how you do um, hack this site realistic mission 2 I hope that helped and for, mo and for more tutorials and security based stuff um, you can check out my YouTube profile, youtube.com slash CUH12C, or just click on the little link and hopefully the subscribe button, and also check out exploitnation.org. Thanks for watching, guys.